What up? I'm back. So I just wanted to kind of add on the last video. I realized that I had the equalizers on the console not exactly flat. So I had the bass knobs down a little bit and the treble knobs turned up just a little bit. So I'm going to flatten those out. I'm going to do the comparison again just so that you have a pure sound of what's going on here. And I guess I'd I think it's going to change once I kind of modify it a little bit anyway, so I guess this is kind of a good baseline documentation of where I'm at. So anyway, I'm going to play this loop again with no preamps, and then I'm going to go API, then I'm going to go AML, then I'm going to go Neve, Japanese, then I'm going to go all three, then I'm going to go nothing, and then I'm going to do the bypass thing again on the DBXs. So here we go, without further ado.
So I just thought of something. What if I do like some white noise and then look at the, the analyzer? What if I just switch that out for test oscillator? Oh, 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 oh. Pink noise. I see a difference. With them bypass, there's a boost right around 8K. And with them not bypass, it's more flat, right? So there's no preamps at all. Here's the API. You can see the boost in the low end. Here's the AML. More low end. Then they go to the knee, the Japanese bypass. And like what? That don't seem to add up, right? But if I bypass the modules, now kinda sounds in line with the other ones. I mean, if I unbypass, hello, duh. So here's bypassed. Here's unbypassed. Bypassed. Unbypassed. There's all of them. So, uh, what do you think?